2.14 p.m. We have uh, arrived on what I assume will be the last stop on our tour of the uh, old plantation district. This is the town of New Amsterdam, population 1,200, and site of an old major colonial fort, including this massive uh, gun here. Whew. This is the old, uh, That's a big one. Big gun from the Second World War, placed by the American. Ah. Ah. The American were here uh, in uh, Suriname since 1916 with the bauxite mining and during the second world war we were very important here of the bauxite you need uh, the aluminum eh? they need a lot of machines, machines and yeah. airplanes and so the american uh, government has sent uh, around 2000 military here to secure the mining here they got four of this uh, gun big gun this river. I, I think they were from the first world war. It was already used in the first world war. Yeah. And uh, it was used more in the battleship. Yeah. Not uh, yeah. on land. And so here in uh, Suriname they use it on land. Okay, this area there with the police station. Coconuts that are so low to the ground here, I usually see them way up there but this uh, palm tree is very short and you've got a whole bunch of coconuts just like six seven eight feet off the ground you could just rip rip one right off and there's one much higher one so you have to climb up a tree to knock down So this is the town of New Amsterdam, capital of the Kami Vange district, which is equivalent to a state here in Suriname. Uh, there are 10 districts of the country, so this is one of the 10 district capitals. And we are making our way to the old fort that was constructed by the Dutch to protect the national capital of Paramaribo along the riverfront here. This is the borderline of the fort. If you look at from the uh, sky, the satellite maybe, you can see a shape of a five-point star. And that's the wall of the fort. They, yeah. they were planning to build the fort of uh, bricks, concrete, but it was impossible. The ground was too soft. <coughs> Yeah, it was a swamp eh? and it was too soft for uh, construction, for the foundation. And the uh, quality of the clay was also not enough for making bricks. Okay. And so they decided to build a fort made of clay wall. And they have also in the past a uh, wooden uh, stick. I think you have some erosion now, but I think uh, in the past it was higher. Because, it was much higher. Yeah, yeah this, this uh, fort is not used for uh, 200 years already. And the last time they were using was in 1816. That was during the time of the uh, French Revolution. And uh, in uh, 1795, you have the Batavse Republic. That was France and Dutchman who ruled Suriname. 2.55 p.m. We are now entering a part of Fort New Amsterdam that was used as a prison after the fort's military use was finished. And uh, some of the old military barracks were turned into prison cells. And now it's a storage room with <laughs> lots of boxes and furniture.
Ah, look at these beautiful purple flowers. My favorite color, so pretty. Funny to see this on the grounds of an old derelict prison. We're sailing past the port of New Amsterdam here and got a uh, fishing vessel unloading its catch. Yeah, throw some this way, we'll make some good dinner. <laughs> 